What's going on YouTube? Thought I'd do a little bulking update video now that I put out 10 full day of eating videos. Um, first of all, sorry for the video quality. I'm doing this on my laptop, so it's not going to be that great. And um, so let's get started. Um, first of all, let's talk about those bulking videos, the full day of eating. You guys love those, and I really appreciate all the feedback. It keeps me motivated to make those. Um, I really wish I could put out those videos more often, but the main thing is I, I really want to put as many different examples as possible. You know, I'm eating a lot of the same foods every day for my bulk, so I don't want to put out like videos of the same exact foods over and over, you know what I mean? So that's why I only do them like once a week whenever I switch everything up. Um, I always go to the grocery store try to find new stuff that I would consider a good bulking food for you guys. So that's why I don't put them out as much as you guys may demand. And I'm sorry about that, but I really appreciate the feedback. It's awesome. It, all those likes and comments, like damn, it makes me feel really good. But another thing is those videos take a lot of time to put together, more than like any other stuff. Because I have to sit there and record clips for everything I eat throughout the day. And then furthermore, whenever I come home at night, I work an 8 to 5 job, you guys, so... I come home, I have to upload the videos, I have to put them in my uh, iMovie, I have to edit them all, trim it, put it all together, add the macros, upload it on YouTube. So that takes literally three to four hours of my night. And I go to the gym right after work, I get home at like 7.30 p.m. So that's, I leave my house at 7.30 a.m., get home at 7.30 p.m., and then I put together those videos, and by that time it's like midnight. So I really hope you guys appreciate those, because I work hard for those so um, I'm getting really good feedback though, so I know you guys appreciate those, and I appreciate all the comments, all the positive feedback, it keeps me motivated to make more. Um, one thing I did want to mention about those videos, um, if you guys, I put out a, a bodybuilding meal example the other day, a video of that, I can do those like a few times per week. So if you guys like those, just tell me and I can make more of those, but as far as full day of eating, it's only going to be once a week maximum, I think. So if, if you guys like those bodybuilding meal examples, I can do those a few times a week. Leave me uh, feedback in the comments and let me know how you guys like that first one I did. And maybe I can start a little series doing those too. So, all right, so that's my first video, uh, uh, order of business there. Next up, I want to talk about my new macros. Um, because I started plateauing a little bit, I stopped gaining weight like I wanted to. The goal is about one pound a week, 1.5 pounds a week, somewhere in there. So my old macros were 425 grams of carbs, 180 grams of protein, and it was 80 grams of fat. Um, I'm pushing those numbers up, doing 450 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, 90 grams of fat, and that comes out to 3,410 calories. So, um, and another thing I wanted to point out, someone asked me in one of my full day of eating videos when I did like 300 grams of carbs. They asked why I didn't hit those carb numbers like I usually do. And um, I've explained this a few times, but you always want to switch it up, you guys. If you're hitting those same numbers every day, your body is going to adapt to it. It's going to be like, okay, I'm getting this amount of carbs every day, so it, it'll, it'll learn to let some of those go, you know. But if you confuse the shit out of your body and do a day where you're eating 350 grams of carbs, whenever you're used to the 450 grams, then your body's going to be like, holy shit, I'm not getting as many carbs as I'm used to. So that will kind of help uh, deter plateauing, and it'll, it'll help you keep growing. So that's kind of a reason to switch it up every now and then. And um, So the next order of business is my weight. Um, so let me just give you guys a brief history of my weight. When I first started training uh, almost two years ago, I was 155 pounds, and 20% body fat. Um, that comes out to 31 pounds of fat. And my lean body mass, which is basically what you weigh without zero, with zero fat, was 124 pounds lean body mass. Um, so that was when I very, very first started. And then I, what I did was I did a lot of cardio, not, not weight training at all. I went down to 148 pounds, 14% body fat, which is 21 pounds of fat, 127 lean body mass. I'll put those numbers on the screen. Um, so that's when I started weight training. And then after my cut, before I started this bulk, I was 159 pounds, 9% body fat, which is 14 pounds of fat, 145 pounds lean body mass. So 
I gained about 20 to 24, let's see, it'd be 21 pounds of muscle in those two years, almost two years. It's been probably like a year and 10 months. So that's like perfect. That's exactly what you want to aim for. One pound of muscle per month is plenty, you guys. I mean, think about that. If you train for three years, that 36 pounds of muscle, that's a lot. So that's a really good number to aim for. I mean, you're going to see your numbers skyrocket when you first start. It's called newbie gains. But then you're going to start to plateau. It's going to be harder and harder to gain muscle. So that's kind of my state right now. And um, after I was, I mean, right now, my what my current weight is is 171 pounds with 13% body fat. And that's 22 pounds of fat and 149 pounds lean body mass. So that is 24 pounds, 25 pounds of muscle I put on in about two years, which is awesome. Very happy with that. So one, one last thing I wanna talk about with bulking. Um, some people have asked me why I'm bulking and I'll give you two main reasons that I'm bulking. This is my reasons. It might not be yours, but it's mine. So first of all, when you're bulking, you're eating so much food that your muscles are getting whatever they want when they crave it. Your muscles are never gonna go hungry, um, never gonna go catabolic or anything because there's so much food in your system. Anytime your muscles want something, it'll get it from all that food you're eating. And a lot of the food you eat will, um, you, you won't need to take supplements to get that certain stuff, such as you know uh, glutamines or even, even protein. Let's put it that simple. You're eating so much stuff, you won't need to take that much protein like I don't, I take one scoop of protein per day during my bulk because I'm I'm hitting that 200 grams of protein per day easily with all the food I eat. So that's one of the main reasons because your 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 muscles will get whatever they want when they want it. Um, the other main reason is carbs equal energy, and when you're eating a shitload of carbs like I am, that's gonna it's gonna show in the gym. You're gonna have so much energy. You're gonna be able to lift a lot more weight, which equals more muscle. Um, excuse me, a lot more reps, um, you're going to be able to train a lot longer. So those are my two main reasons for bulking, and it's working out pretty good for me, guys. Um, I don't want to say it's inevitable to put on muscle without putting on some fat, but, I mean, you could eat pretty clean, uh, lower calories, and still put on muscle, but this kind of just speeds the process up a lot. So that's why I'm bulking. Um, inevitably, I'm going to gain a little bit of fat, but that's okay because I'm going to shred it off. So my bulk's going to last probably another four months. It'll end at the end of March. And um, hopefully I hit about 180 pounds by then, maybe 185. We'll see. Um, so that's my bulking update. Hope you guys liked it. I really appreciate all the support. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys next time.